situation in Guerrero right now? On September 26th, municipal police in the city of Iguala in Guerrero State, Mexico, attacked several busloads of, of students from the Rural Teachers College in Ayotzinapa, killing a total of six people, wounding more than 20, and disappearing 43 students. Uh, one of the students' bodies was found at 10 in the morning with his face, eyes, and ears removed. Um, since then, the students and the family members of those disappeared have been demanding that the state act to find their sons and their colleagues um, alive, to return them to them alive. And now the federal police is being sent in. Do you think that that's going to change anything in terms of the search? Sadly, the, the federal police have been on the ground for weeks and nothing really has changed. The disturbing thing here is that this, again, is one of these cases I think of a massacre foretold. Um, for years, there have been stories of mass disappearances of Central American migrants in the northern uh, border regions. All of these mass graves and mass disappearances were thought to simply be criminal organizations fighting each other. And hence the indignation, the social mobilizations necessary to pressure uh, the government to investigate. I think the Mexican state strategy will be to strip any political content from the violence by saying it was a drug cartel and the kids provoked them, right? They'll try and not make the kids look too bad because that would have, I think, devastating consequences on the ground in Mexico where people are justly livid and outraged at this. There were mass graves found in the hunt for these students and it turns out that the students actually weren't the ones buried in those graves. What does that say in terms of the state of, of violence in the region and the fact that investigators are sort of just tripping over these horrible sites of, of death. Well, two questions now, right? Who are those people? Uh, what happened to them? Who did that to them? And then also, of course, where are the 43 students? So why target students? I think the Ayotzinapa um, Teachers College is one of the most underfunded institutions in the country. Its students are from some of the poorest, most economically marginalized or brutalized municipalities in the country, many from indigenous communities and from rural farm working communities. But are they seen as a threat? to Absolutely. the Mexican state? Absolutely. Explain that. Um, the Mexican state has a, a discourse of, of hate and criminalization of the students that's very, very long standing. It's been called a nursery for guerrilla fighters for decades. So and this is a school that's been targeted for decades. It seems like everyone who is outside of Mexican politics or a former politician or an analyst, everyone but the actual current Mexican government agrees that the drug war is a failure. All these studies come out, these opinions, right? So if it's a failure, how is it and will it end? <laughs> the drug war itself has been entirely successful at maintaining the drug war. It's not been successful at anything else. It, it constantly expands and maintains and fuels the warring itself. And the war is very good business. Want more? Download the AJ Plus mobile app and join the conversation. Available in your app store now.